we say everyone can say hi to Sasha. Oh, we are recording now. Okay, great. Uh, but do do say thanks to Sasha for uh, being everywhere at once, trying to make sure that the yes. stream is working properly. She has the magic touch. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right, Bala. Sorry for the delay, but now the floor is yours. You can take as many okay. questions as you want, and uh, I'll be making humorous comments when I'm not busy putting out fires in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, folks. Um, so thank you for the questions. I'll take one by one. How do you link the notes together so you could search through them in the future? Okay. This uh, video I made uh, before, or rather the, the experience that I shared with you was before I got into linking of notes and how to make sense of it. I'm still, uh, I mean, I'm thankful for uh, guys like Leo for putting our room together. However, yes, <laughs> you can take a bow. Uh, however, I'm still in the infancy of trying to link these topics. So the suggestion I have is once you convert uh, your handwritten text into uh, text, so handwritten stuff uh, from your notebook uh, into text, or if you write it, uh, if, you're the, if you have a writing device and you can convert it into text, uh, in, input it into uh, or Grom and uh, link it uh, the way you would do it. So uh, I have not uh, yet gone into it, but having said that, I've started doing it um, like a week ago. I started linking these handwritten notes, uh, which are converted into text and then can be linked to any other note that you want. So uh, that's that would be my response to the linking part. Uh, so, which actually leads to the next question is, is it necessary to OCR your handwriting? Uh, this is a necessary step. You have to do optical character recognition as in convert all the handwritten stuff into text uh, because uh, otherwise uh, indexing and linking becomes a problem uh, later on. If it's only you going through the handwritten notes uh, so, so that you browse it and read it when you want it, uh, that's that's okay. So you don't have to worry about OCR. Uh, just input the JPEG, the PNG, or whatever uh, file you use, uh, format you use. Input it into under the org mode headline or the org rom uh, file, and and you should be good to go. Uh, however, uh, if you uh, want the other stuff, then OCR becomes a necessity. So I, I, I'm, uh, I'm un unfamiliar with any uh, package that does the OCR conversion inside of the Emacs ecosystem. Uh, so I use uh, tools like uh, OneNote or, um, or I think Google Keep does that. Uh, I don't know of any other free slash open source tools which do that. Uh, I'm not familiar, but I use an external tool to convert uh, handwritten text into uh, notes if you want the link. Again, uh, reiterating, if you want the linking and the indexing. If not, uh, for me, uh, sometimes screenshots and handwritten notes uh, have to go together so that I can find out, okay, this team or this student was talking about uh, his project or her project, and this is the screenshot of their presentation. And I write down my notes, and it goes along with that. That's for that was for me uh, uh, a key to have that together, uh, and not just hand uh, typewritten notes because I have no recollection later on. But handwritten notes I seem to recall better, and and that's the whole idea of how to how to integrate. I was, I was breaking my head over it. Um, yeah. So those are the two uh, response to those two questions. Uh, what about searching notes, notes to text while being offline? Oh my God, this is a related one as well. So uh, yes, uh, it is going to be searching has to be uh, linked. If you want the searching facility, it has to be converted text. There is no, there are no two ways to that right now. Um, uh, proprietary software like Google Keep seems to manage it. I think uh, others, OneNote also, uh, a Dropbox also says that they can do it. Uh, I haven't tried it there, searching it inside these systems to look for handwritten text because I don't use that for managing my projects or, or uh, you know, making sense of uh, what I've written down. So when it comes to doing all those uh, tasks, I use Arg mode. Uh, so I would say you um, absolutely mandatory for, for us to convert this. Unless I've made that appeal at the end of my uh, talk saying if org mode uh, emacs 
or more community can put their brains together. I don't know if I can help, but if you can, uh, if you want me for testing your package, I, I certainly put my hands up for, for sure. I can do that. Uh, I am keen on trying that out. Um, I hope that answered the third question. Uh, these articles on uh, those articles and note taking seems interesting. Could you uh, get a link for them? I'll, I'll definitely drop it in the Etherpad after uh, this this recording is done for sure. I will leave it there. Uh, it is my um, good friend uh, in France who shared that with me, saying when he saw the title of my talk, he uh, sent me a whole bunch of articles saying, "Hey, this seems to support what you told me." And I, I, I have sort of uh, shown you the screenshots uh, in the video, but I'll definitely leave a, leave some of these links in uh, in the Etherpad after this. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I've used uh, the next question is, have you looked at uh, taking handwritten notes on a tablet? Like, uh, uh, I don't know how to say that journal with an X plus um, plus. So, yes, I have uh, started using it again. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I haven't started. I, the only tools I used were OneNote and Google Keep because those were, were the only ones which, which would allow for uh, writing uh, using my stylus. Uh, I'm sure there are other apps which can do it. Uh, but do they convert it into text and how easy is it to input it into org mode is something that so for now um, the the dropbox method for me was i i write notes i take a mobile camera take a picture upload it to dropbox why dropbox because it allows jpeg to be uh, uh, uploaded uh, whereas uh, pdf i find it very uh, uh, cumbersome from handwriting to uh, get it in here so uh, JPEG, uh, I can input it into org more, I'm sorry, uh, OneNote, and that converts it into text. And then I uh, take it into put it into uh, the, the inbox uh, ha uh, has the image as well as the converted text. So uh, I put it into my uh, system, the, the org mode system. So that's, that's how my workflow really is. Um, I don't know if I answered that question very well. I, I've used uh, X uh, journal, uh, but not, not a whole lot to give you uh, intelligent advice. Um, have you tried out remarkable device to take handwritten notes as well? I haven't figured out how to link the files back into org mode in a constructive way yet. Okay, so yes, I've heard of remarkable uh, devices. There's another one called Books, if I'm not wrong. And Amazon has also come up with a, a writing, um, I call it the writing Kindle. Uh, I don't know what it's called, uh, uh, a smarter name for that. Uh, so uh, these devices do exist, but I'm not sure if they convert it into text and if they can uh, put it in a repository which is accessible on your uh, computer where you can import it into uh, org mode. I, I'm not so sure about those things. So uh, linking that uh, would be nice if you can have it have access to where your uh, Emacs org mode ecosystem is. Uh, for me, Dropbox works very well because it's on my mobile phone, smartphone, as well as on my computer. So the linking happens and I can just uh, put it, push it all into my uh, org mode inbox and process them uh, and uh, refile the notes or do all the good stuff linking. Uh, if I have the text, I can link them, do all that. I can, I can certainly do that. So that's, that's my answer to uh, the, the uh, uh, where is it, where did it go? Remarkable stuff. That's, uh, that question is gone. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so that was, yeah, I don't uh, see it uh, either anymore. It's disappeared, but thank you for <laughs> taking the time to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> okay so next one do, do how are we on time leo is am i uh i, I can talk all day you are <laughs> you are completely good on time don't worry we have until 45 of the current tower until oh, okay. we need to move on to the next box you it's very roomy take your time answering as many questions as oh, you okay. want okay so, all right so i won't hurry that all right something to think about is handwritten and org transcribed notes deduplication for searching do you want one or the other Oh, okay. So this is wish list. Oh, thank you so much for asking this question. Transcription for me has become important, not only handwritten, but also voice notes. So this is another thing that I've been, uh, you know, I, I have a part, I have a couple of podcasts where I want a summary of my important points. Uh, and I, I can grab the voice clips 
but transcribing it uh, in spite of uh, so many tools out there i find it very difficult to transcribe them automatically i can make the error corrections later on but i find it extremely cumbersome to uh, transcribe voice notes so it would be nice if we can have uh, you know voice transcription one handwritten transcription also helps uh, for sure uh, if uh, it can be done uh, then it, it makes it uh, actually that's a great idea uh, transcription i i wasn't thinking of in in insight i was thinking of basically uh, taking the notes and and somehow linking it within the handwritten stuff itself uh, maybe my limit uh, limitation imagination but uh, transcription is definitely something that i would be very interested in voice as well as handwriting this uh, i've uh, seen it in some other software i think it is one note where i saw that you can record yourself vocally and uh, also there is a transcribe for paid packages they have transcription as well uh, and then you could link text uh, uh, from there on right so if we can do it in our org mode system nothing like it i mean i i keep saying it and and uh, notes get uh, you know uh, uh, no, notes keep coming up there or i keep writing it on my wacom device or my uh, you know remarkable device and it goes into my org mode as as i write or, or as i speak unbelievable this is potent this is really potent this is thanks for the great idea uh, i hope this again uh, i volunteer myself to test this out as well i have uh, tons of uh, uh, at least uh, this year i have produced 300 uh, minutes of podcast content uh, and I find it extremely cumbersome to transcribe it uh, easily. So uh, if this can do it for us, uh, at least even a minute or two of the text, um, nothing like it. That's amazing. Um, the uh, last question I see is how often do you instead type in and summarize your notes? Would you consider that a suitable approach for yourself at the end of the day? Um, uh, that's a good idea uh, of uh, typing notes. When I'm in a hurry, I type. So when I'm in a uh, tearing hurry, uh, I or I or my notes uh, this is just lying somewhere, uh, and I uh, and there's a meeting going on. I don't want to get up and go get my notes. Uh, I immediately go to my uh, org mode and start typing there. So that's that's what I do. At the end of the day, summarize. I, I don't have that habit uh, at all. I, I promise myself that I should do daily journaling and all that because it's everybody says it's a good habit. I've done it a few times and I found it to be uh, good, but it's not a habit I'm yet on. So, uh, I mean, I, I also have a, 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 a shortcut, a keyboard shortcut for uh, the org round dailies. Uh, I do have that and it shows up on the calendar, the blue color. I love those features, but I'm not on it. I should make it a habit. Uh, as much as I've, uh, you know, look at my org agenda, you should have a dailies as well. And um, I should, I, I type it, I type out when I'm in a hurry, perhaps even uh, uh, writing uh, your daily journal could be helpful. Uh, particularly, I find that uh, I'm, I'm comfortable typing English letters. If, um, you know, uh, non-English uh, for example, uh, my uh, mother tongue is uh, has a different script, which I can't uh, easily type using English. So perhaps writing is easier there for me uh, rather than typing it out. It feels very weird. So uh, perhaps that, that could help for um, non-English, uh, uh, non-Roman script. Uh, perhaps writing is better for journaling as well. I, could, I guess uh, that could help. Uh, Okay, Bala, if I can uh, interrupt you for a second, because uh, don't worry, I'm not stopping you with a question. I told you you have until 45, and I will honor what I've said before. Okay. But uh, I just wanted to let people know that we have opened up the uh, BBB chat room. So if people want to join the room now and ask question questions directly to Bala, who's already answered many of your questions on the pad, but if you have more questions or if you'd just like to chat with Bala, well, do feel free to uh, join the room. The link has been pasted on the ISC channels. It's also available on the talk page at the top. So you should be able to find the link pretty easily. And even if we move to the next talk, if you're still there and still want to chat with Bala, provided Bala is available and does not need to sleep, by the way, do respect the fact <laughs> that it's really late over there. Uh, do feel free to hang around, hang around a little more and ask more questions. And we'll be posting all of this in the website afterwards. 
so but, uh, I think do you have one more question on the pad or was it the last one? Uh, let me check. I think that was the last one. Oh, there is a new question coming up just before that. Do take it then. Sure. I was going to say something of uh, an experience I wanted to share, but anyway, I can answer this. Uh, how fancy has your handwritten notes import been? Okay, I'm, I'm going to wait for this. Bullets to do. Uh, I, I'm, to I'm not sure if we're talking about importing the notes into, like, is it merely importing the files or is it about importing it to your notes taking system, like, or uh, whatnot? Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. So, uh, my, uh, I have a simple system for, yes, the, I absolutely agree with you. Uh, I mean, the, the birth of uh, org mode was that. You, you wanted notes and you wanted tasks inside it, right? So that was the origin of that. Uh, so uh, I think the same philosophy applies for handwritten notes as well, because you're writing down notes and somebody says, hey, Bala, uh, can you send me this document by next Wednesday? Uh, and I write that down in my notes and that's a task. So I just put a star next to it. So I know when I am scanning, uh, I don't think that shows up as a, uh, I, I don't think star shows up as anything in my uh, import, but but I know when I'm scanning it that uh, I need to keep track of that as a task. So in uh, in the talk also I talked about it is in uh, uh, in, in um, OneNote, control one is the uh, shortcut for to do. Um, and if it is converted into text, yes, of course, alt enter in, uh, in, in um, org mode will work. Uh, as well so uh yes so i think that is important even so that's the only thing that i do is an asterisk or a star uh just before the note so that it tells me that it is uh, uh it is a uh, task that has i have to keep track of i even put a date so that the numbers also get imported into uh, org mode uh but my wish list this has uh, gotten me into me wishing is uh, if the handwriting uh, notes, uh, I mean, the, the gadget, the device, the remarkable or the, the uh, Amazon uh, uh, writing pads of the world, if we can actually write down, uh, you know, notes uh, with a star, uh, asterisk and the headline and, and scheduled and all that uh, and import it directly into org mode, I think uh, that's uh, doing away with a whole bunch of uh, in-between scanning uploading processing and all that this can go directly you can start refiling uh, into your uh, system so that that would be nice so uh, somebody is asking me for a wish list uh, here's one more too uh, if uh, we can do that uh, so that that makes uh, basically you're writing org mode rather than uh, like a, as, as if it's a language um, like a human language rather than it being something restricted to a computer so that, that that's interesting that's an interesting thought uh, just to glorify handwriting, I, I don't know if it has anything to do with the uh, with the question. Uh, a few days ago, uh, a client of mine asked me for uh, a talk, uh, and I was going to give them the plain vanilla talk, uh, but I decided to pause myself and uh, write down what I was going to talk about. Actually, that gave uh, that gave rise to a completely different idea, and uh, the whole thing uh, was far more uh, effective compared to what was my plain vanilla. I, according to me, uh, that uh, that handwritten ideation that I did with the white space really helped me think beyond uh, what was my plain vanilla talk. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the talk went well, I, I think, uh, and, and the audience uh, did have fun uh, because I had I even uh, jotted down a few things that I wanted to crack jokes on. All that went into my notes. So I think handwriting is uh, sort of undermarketed, underplayed so much with, with the advent of typing and um, these things becoming so efficient and easy that I think that uh, all, all your ideas, if they come together, uh, I think handwritten notes will become um, a part and parcel of uh, the org mode system itself. And, and effective and eff efficient way of uh, capturing our thoughts. All right, Bala. So uh, I think 
you don't have any more questions currently. I don't see anyone with a microphone on. So by the way, if you're joining us on BBB and if you want to ask your questions, you do have to join with a microphone. It is interesting for you to join listening only, but if, if everyone does this and nobody turn, you know, turns on the microphone, it's going to, going to be very lonely for Bala and myself. You know, I can ask questions for you. I have plenty of questions that I love to ask. You know, I, I did get my own tablet. Oh, actually, let me show the stream. Let me, oops, can I unfull screen this? Yes, okay. Let me try to make the screen a little bigger so that you can see me. Okay, I was going to talk to you about, if we have a little more time, because I do have a tablet like this, which allows me to do handwritten notes. This is, don't worry too much, this is a lead code exercise that I was solving. And this is e-ink, which allows me to type my stuff. And I bought this about two years ago. And I've really been struggling to find ways to... Uh, you know, how do I work both in Emacs and how do I work with my Envito notes, which is why I was really interested uh, with your talk, because honestly, right now, those are two completely separate collections of notes. What is in my machine, this device right there, is its own thing. Like, it is, it has its own quality. Do I do my journaling in it? I do my journaling, maybe. I also do my lead code exercise, but that's about it. And it, I wish it were easy for me to connect the dots between what I've got on this device and what I've got on my computer right in front of me. So mm. I, I can talk some more about this, but uh, people could also join and ask their own questions. You know, I, I can talk to Bala whenever I want. You know, <laughs> I've been in touch <laughs> with Bala for quite a while, you know, and yeah. uh, I'll be able to do this whenever. But, you know, this is your chance for you to do this, to have your question answered and to you know, for the question to leave on EmacsConf forever and ever. Like all the talks for EmacsConf, all the questions since three years ago have been published. So it is your chance to, if you don't, if you're not making a, a talk of your own, you know, it's uh, at least you have the questions of your own leaving on a website. Uh, so Bala, I believe you were a little interested with my little device. So uh, I'll yeah. just give you the, are you, do you actually have a device of your own uh, that allows you to take notes like this, or is it just handwritten on paper? Uh, my my computer uh, is a uh, touch screen, so I can write. I have a stylus that I can use to uh, write anywhere on the screen. So I, I take the uh, laptop and and actually fold it, and and I can use it like a notebook. So this is the this is my use case these days. So uh, when I'm learning, uh, I'm learning Japanese, by the way, and I tell you, this, there's no way I could have retained so much if I had not written uh, Japanese out, uh, the characters. So uh, yeah. this this is yeah. critical. This is critical. Writing is critical. It it it, uh, And their ideas, when they're externalized, it, you see it by you writing it. There's a physical action. You feel the uh, proximity to your uh, ideas, uh, what you're doing. So uh, typing, yes, it is also physical. But for me, it's uh, it, it's it's one step away from writing down. So for me, that's, that's I'm gonna make you laugh because I, I was also studying Japanese and I do have my own kanji oh, wow. sheet which allows me to do my practice. So uh, please don't look amazing. at it. If, if you're gonna pause this video and check what I've written, you will be sorely disappointed because those are just collection of verbs. But this is how I practice my kanji as well, and it's been amazing. Ah. This is. You know, it is such a wonderful usage because if you try learning kanji just by seeing them and not putting them in your hand or embedding them in your yeah, hands, man. it's so yeah. complicated to do so. Oh, we have more things in common than I imagined. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we happen to have someone in the room currently. Gak, I believe, is the nickname. Uh, do you have a question? And do you want to maybe unmute yourself to ask the question? You are more than welcome to do so now. I might actually need to unmute you. Actually, I can't. Can you unmute yourself and ask the question if you want to? I'm, I'm just trying to um, get my headset set up. Um, I'm having this, the similar struggle with this issue of handwriting my notes because that's the easiest way for me to write them quickly. Um, yep. It's also very, it, it, it does help me retain the information better, um, but then getting them back into org mode. Um, uh, I, I'm about to start experimenting with some of the uh, iPad apps like Notability and Good Notes to see if that can work or if I can use Apple Notes for that as well. Um, the 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 uh, my interests are you know probably similar to yours. I'm studying computer science. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, 
and, and I have two kinds of notes that are very difficult to transcribe. Um, mind maps, which is often the way I take um, class notes because it's a, a good outlining form. Um, but the handwriting recognition flows, if you'll pardon the expression, the um, uh, and um, and equations, um, particularly uh, in, in involving um, uh, um, proof steps for um, formal semantics. And I'm wondering if you have any ideas about uh, mind mapping in particular and getting those incorporated from handwritten notes. I hate using the mind mapping tools that are available. I find that that, you know, that, that replaces uh, 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 the bad memory generation from typing with a bad memory generation for mind mapping. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but if you have any thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Um, actually, uh, I have uh, used uh, uh, mind mapping is uh, hierarchical. Uh, so you start with one and then it has it has a sort of a thing. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, I use something called function maps where uh, you not only have uh, just like orgrom and its uh, interlinking relationships, uh, this also has what is the relationship, what is the nature of relationships. All that I've been uh, uh, you know drawing it on my uh, laptop screen. Uh, so that that helps me uh, internalize that. Uh, so I, I do not convert it into uh, any other digital format. I leave it as a picture because every time I read it, uh, I'm able. Uh, but in the uh, digital format itself, uh, it's uh, when you when you have new understanding, uh, you can actually add another object and interlink them and add the relationship. So it's a lot easier if it's on this. But on a piece of paper. Uh, drawing a mind map and or uh, uh, you know a function map and editing it and moving things around becomes a problem. So I find that doing it on a device and retaining it as such, not converting it into uh, a, you know a, a free mind or a, any of those kind of uh, XML or anything like that doesn't help me at all uh, or a plant UML even. Uh, but I find that I I leave it as such. Uh, in the digital format, uh, you can select it, uh, you know, like a lasso select, move it around and add new objects when or, or remove it or, you know, shade it. You can do all those good stuff if it is uh, remaining in the same way. So I, I like I like it to be that way itself. Yeah, I, I've done that as well on the iPad. Uh, um, I, I'll use um, uh, Nebo or something like that to give me uh, uh, a good way of, of um, rearranging the mind map. Sure. Uh, you know, directly in the in the iPad, exporting it as a JPEG, um, right. and then linking it to other notes documents that I have. But I, I do wish I had uh, a better way of um, uh, extracting uh, the keywords that come out of it and put you know and having those searchable. But I get it. It's no, I, I okay. The answer is problem. no. I don't have any. I usually link <laughs> the live document itself into org mode. So when I uh, yeah. uh, like for example, one note, one note colon, and the uh, and the entire. Uh, I just uh, click on that, and it goes opens the exact document that I want, and I can add more to it. But I, no, I, no, the device yeah, is the not same. possible. I do something very simple. All right, a, folks, I'm, I'm really sorry for interrupting you, but uh, we are getting close to time. It's uh, it, okay. you know, thanks, thank you so much for joining.